Hey guys, today we're going to finish up Daniel and the lion's den. So we've been talking about how fierce lions are and how that there was a friend in the Bible who had a very close encounter with some lions. So we talked about how Daniel and his friends were taken captive when they were very young and they were taken to a different land and they ended up working for a mean king. And the, fir the, the mean king, one of the first things that he asked them to do was eat a certain type of food. And God had already told them what they were supposed to be eating to keep them safe. And so Daniel had to take a stand to, uh, against the king so that he could be obedient. And he asked the king if it would be okay if they could just eat their own food so that um, they didn't disobey their God. And the king did actually allow them to do that. And after a, after a while of abstaining from the king's meat, Daniel and his friends looked stronger and healthier than everyone else. And so Daniel learned early in his life that it was always better to obey God. And so when Daniel grew up, there was a new king and he was... Um, his name was King Darius, and Daniel was the second in command. King Darius loved Daniel so much and appreciated his help, and he cre he made it he made him be the second in command. And so, but some of the other leaders became jealous of Daniel, and they didn't like that he that the king liked him so much, and they were always looking for something to try to get Daniel in trouble for, but Daniel was righteous. He would go to his house three times a day, and he would pray, and these men could not find anything to get him in trouble for, but they concocted a plan. They, they decided to come up with something to do with prayer so that they could catch him in a trap. And so the bad leaders went to the king and told him that he needed to make a new law. Everyone needed to pray to only the king for the next 30 days. And anyone who disobeyed need to be thrown in the lion's den. And so King Darius agreed to the law and made it so. And when Daniel heard this, he knew he would have a tough decision to make. Oops. Daniel would never stop praying to God, though, no matter what. So just like every other day, he went to his room to pray three times. And of course, the bad leaders were waiting and watching. The bad men went to the king and told him that Daniel had broken the law. The king was so upset because he would have to follow through with his law. But he really liked Daniel. He didn't want him to be fed to hungry lions. The king had to give the order, though. Daniel was arrested and thrown into the lion's den. The lions were kept in a hole or a pit in the ground. The soldiers took Daniel to the pit and threw him in. The king yelled down to Daniel, I hope that your God saved you, my friend. Then they rolled a stone over the pit and they left. Poor Daniel, what is going to happen? Will he be eaten? No, God saved him. The hungry lions came near to him, but they never hurt him. They acted like big kittens, and God sent an angel to shut the mouths of the lions. Even though they were hungry, they did not eat Daniel. As soon as morning came, the king rushed to the pit. He was so anxious to see if Daniel had been eaten. When they removed the stone, Daniel shouted up, King, God sent his angels to keep me safe. The king was so happy and had him removed from the pit. God had done a huge miracle.